Hello everyone, this is Julia for the Alleyway Stems and today we're going to have a fun tutorial about how to use watercolor in a different way. We're also going to be using a new stamp set that has just been released by the Alleyway Stems. It's called Unique Peak and uh, just to show you what you can do with it because that might not be terribly obvious. Well, you have the sunflower and you have the paintbrush and somewhere you also have sentiments. I'm trying to figure out how to hold this. There, be yourself even if it's a little wonky and shine bright. We're going to be using the paintbrush today just to show that you can use uh, one of these stamp sets by itself but it coordinates with the newly released penguins on parade. For example, you can use um, this wonky line here on the penguin and make it look, for example, like he has dripped paint onto himself. So everything's possible, but we're just going to be using this one today. I have a standard A2 sized card base and I've already prepared a piece of watercolor paper with that um, black border up there which we're going to be using. And I've also have some pattern paper, which will go into the background. I just cut this already because it's going to save some time on the video. I stamped and fuzzy cut all the brushes that I will need already. And now I'm using my Kurataki watercolors to color those in. You can use whatever color medium you have. You don't have to use this particular, these particular watercolors, use whatever you like. I just like these because they give very intense colors. It's actually funny because, you know, I'm not really using them like um, watercolors, more like, what's the name, gouache colors that are um, not as opaque as watercolors. Um, but I just, I just like the intensity of these colors and, oh, just beautiful. I especially like this color. That's actually the reason why I bought the large set, because this color is not included in the smaller sets. Smart people there at Kuretake. <laughs> I just love this. And I'm using a very small brush um, so I can color this small area in without coloring over the, um, the stamped outline because these are the colors are rather opaque. I'm putting some um, adhesive on the back of my pattern paper because I'm going to adhere that to my card base. I'm just doing this now so the paint brushes have some time to dry because I will need them in a moment again. I'm being very generous with my um, adhesive just to be sure that it won't come up. I hate this when the pattern paper just peels up on the edge. Just looks so, I don't know, careless. So that's why I overuse the glue all the time. <laughs> now for the dripping part. I thought I would be smart. So I'm basically putting down some color where the paintbrush is going to go. So it looks like the color is dripping from the paintbrush onto the paper. I'm using um, a very like the, the color is very concentrated and then I'm coming back and adding water to this puddle of color to in the hopes to make it run like drip. So I'm just preparing this a little bit so I'll have a little bit of control and then I'm shaking this and tilting this and it's not dripping. I'm adding water to the puddle of color. And it's not dripping. Adding more water and it's not dripping and I'm like, oh, it worked when I tried this out, it worked. But it didn't work. So it's just the water sits there, the color sits there, and then it doesn't, it doesn't drip. So I just dip my pen, uh, my my paintbrush in the uh, very carefully, and then I'm just dragging down this goblet of color uh, down down the paper, and I'm repeating this for all the other colors because none of them actually ran by itself. I think in retrospect, if I would have cleaned out my brush and used some clean water to trace this. Um, uh, this like the drip downwards and then um, would have connected the clean water to the bra uh, to the color it probably would have run but it just didn't run by itself the, co the color was just too thick to run by itself but it worked out anyhow so I'm not too mad about that sorry that's a little bit blurry here the camera was focused more towards the um, towards the flat pane of the desk flat plane flat pane it's very complicated. Anyhow, after I was done with that, I added some little dots here and there just to give the impression of, you know, like splashes, um, disorderly stuff. And then I'm using the stamp set called Spellcheck, inking it up with um, Versafine ink, which is a great ink for solid stamping. It's very rich and black and stamping it onto the same watercolor cardstock that I used for um, the watercoloring because I'm going to fuzzy cut it and have a white border around it. The paint brushes, by the way, which I'm adhering here with um, foam adhesive were also fuzzy cut from the same cardstock. 
and I'm adhering the sentiment. Um, I put some foam behind it so it's going to be raised a little bit. And then I figured, huh, I need something additional for the card. So I grabbed some um, pearls and I have the standards like silver pearls. And I'm just using Copics to add color to them. That's very in a very easy and quick way how you can turn your white um, pearls into colorful ones. And then I'm adding some, are those rhinestones? I think they are rhinestones, just for some bling here and there. And that's it. Here's a close-up of the card and you can see it's it, you can see that we used real watercolor to get this done. It's so much fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave me a thumbs up um, or a comment. I appreciate it. And Theo, see you again soon. Bye.